how does distilled water compare to tap water? Okay, I'm going to try to um, show um, the measurements for distilled water compared to tap water. I have tap water in these two containers here, and I have distilled water in these two here. So we're going to measure the distilled water first, <clears throat> then I'm going to transfer the um, pH and the EC meter over here to the tap water. Let's see what's going on. Let me switch them on first. That's the pH there. And that's the EC. Okay. All right, I'm going to press hold on this one. Um, I don't know if you can get closer. We can see that the pH is going about 5.70 is the max so far. And if I bring this EC, it tells me that the temperature is 23 degrees in that water. This is EC and it says, you can barely see there's a one. The amount of salts or nutrients inside that, it runs up to one. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to put it into the tap water. <clears throat> and let's, so that was about 5.70. I'm going to clear this pH and put it into the tap water as well. Oh, this one wants to tip over. I'll fill it up a little bit more. Okay. Let's move these into range so they don't tip over. All right, let's do the same thing. Switch on, switch on. Okay, I don't know if you can see <coughs> the tap, the tap water is 7.56 at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna just press the hold on this one so I can bring it closer. Okay, the tap water has 346, 304, it looks like 8, hold on, let me see, yeah, 3.46, 346, temperature is 24 degrees, and where did we end up at the, at the tap water here for the pH? Seven point six zero. Okay. Seven point six zero for that. Okay, that just goes to demonstrate uh, the difference between distilled water and tap water when you're comparing um, the chemicals in this in tap water versus in distilled water. Notice I'm using. Um, yogurt containers that I scrubbed out to act as my assistants to measure these things. Sometimes you got to be a little creative when you don't have anything in your house. My little experimental beater hit be beaker here to measure, um, I mean to, to try out the nutrients inside uh, distilled water. So it's always best to get a, um, a bottle of distilled water and grow your plants in that and add the nutrients to the distilled water because you get a more accurate reading and you don't overdose or overtoxify your, your plant. One important fact I left out, 
um, you'll notice in this picture there's a submerging line. When you submerge the digital meters, and both of them have one, um, you're not supposed to let the liquid go above that line. It protects the, the digital equipment because the sensors are down below the submersion line. So just make sure you bear that in mind not to let the liquid go above that line. And I will briefly summarize what we just did. We looked at the uh, measurements for pH and EC um, for distilled water and for tap water. And we saw that tap water for the EC is around 345 units higher than distilled water. And for the pH, tap water is almost two units of pH above distilled water. So this you have to take into consideration if you're not using distilled water. And uh, manufacturers, when they make their nutrients, they assume <clears throat> that you're going to be using distilled water or reverse osmosis water, which um, have the uh, are close to zero EC and the pH is much lower. So that is all I had to say. And if you found this interesting, you can give a thumbs up in YouTube and um, we will be making a few more of these uh, tips. Thank you for listening.